Okay, let's talk about this really interesting case of ischial bursitis. This was a 55 year old female presented with bilateral gluteal pain for about two years. She was complaining of swelling and then pain reading down from the gluteal region into her thighs. She had no injury and it was getting worse despite home remedies and over the counter medications. And she couldn't think of any clear occupational etiology. On exam, she is tender over the ischial tuberosity and noted to have some hyperpigmentation on the skin bilaterally, which is not pictured. This is her initial x-ray, which does not show any bony lesions. There is a questionable soft tissue opacity right here, and I do say questionable, I don't really see it. Otherwise, this PA pelvis looks pretty good. This is her ultrasound, which shows well-defined bilateral cystic structures here. This is one of them, okay? And then over here, you can see one as well. A very heterogeneous appearance inside. Uh, increased vascularity along the sides, but not within it. So you, you know it's not a vascular lesion. And then this is her CT scan, which shows these fluid collections here bilaterally. They're pretty big on the CT scan. And then there's a little bit of a cortical irregularity here. The ischial tuberosity doesn't look totally normal in this patient. Okay, so let's talk about ischial bursitis. It's an inflammation. Uh, it's inflammation of the ischial bursa, which is located between the tuberosity and the gluteus maximus. It's also called ischial gluteal bursitis, Weaver's bottom, Taylor's bottom. Those come from some of the occupational risks. It is not well understood or described in the literature. The epidemiology is not really understood. It's likely overlooked and underdiagnosed. Causes are essentially related to repetitive microtrauma, such as sitting, repetitive activities, and then the chronically ill patients, and more rarely acute trauma, such as hemorrhage, inflammation, infection. The anatomy is essentially that this bursa is deep to the gluteus maximus muscle over the ischial tuberosity. It's a synovial bursa. The hamstring muscles, specifically the semimembranosus and tendinosus, as well as the long head of the biceps attached there. And then the ischial tuberosities are weight-bearing points when we sit down, which is why they're vulnerable to this condition. Differential diagnosis includes sciatica, piriformis syndrome, lumbar radiculopathy, proximal hamstring injuries, trochanteric bursitis, and malignancy. On physical exam, they usually have deep insidious buttocks pain along the ischial tuberosity or in that location and worse with sitting and exercise. They are typically point tender on the ischial tuberosity here. Sometimes, as in the case of our patient, you can feel a non-mobile mass here and often worse with passive hip flexion and active hip extension. They may have a positive straight leg raise or Faber test. However, those are not specific to ischial bursitis. There's no diagnostic gold standard. Some of that is just because this disease is not well described in the literature and, and there's really no agreement about how to best diagnose it. X-ray is a screening tool. MRIs often show a cystic mass. Ultrasound will show a hypochoic mass within a regularly thickened wall. And CT, as in the case of our patient, showed a hypodense cystic mass. And then you can use ultrasound or another imaging modality to both aspirate and inject, which can be diagnostic and therapeutic. Management is essentially non-surgical, right? Ice, heat, physical therapy, avoid provocative activities, get a cushion to offload the bursa and the ischial tuberosity. And then in refractory or early refractory cases, you can try corticosteroids or PRP would be another consideration. Surgical indications, surgical indications include patients who are refractory, such as our patient, which we'll talk about. Uh, and then if you're worried about infection or malignancy, obviously you need to address that. Here is the MRI of our patient. What you see here are cystic structures on both T1 and T2 weighted here. You see some heterogeneous components as well. Uh, you don't really see it. I think this is trying to show you the sciatic nerve, but essentially these cysts are compressing the sciatic nerves bilaterally, which if we scroll through the whole MRI, you could see, okay? So the patient, basically that was her MRI, which was the final imaging study. And because she wasn't getting better, she had surgical excision and on follow-up was doing very well. Her symptoms had improved. So let's talk about three key points of ischial bursitis. It's an overuse injury, if you will, 
of the ischial bursa located between the ischial tuberosity and glute max. It presents with gluteal pain and point tenderness on the ischial tuberosity. And treatment is generally conservative, including NSAIDs, ice, heat, and physical therapy, avoiding aggravating activities, and an ischial bursa cushion.